the whole purpose of doing a PhD or becoming an academic is to find things out, to explore the unknown and discover things that haven't been discovered before. What this means is that you will always be operating beyond what is comfortable, no matter what your level of experience. You'll be operating beyond your current knowledge, beyond what you know will work. There will always be doubt because you cannot know what will happen until you actually do the research. Once you do that, you will often find that things don't quite work out the way you expected. You'll make mistakes, and even when you don't, things will still go wrong in ways that you can't possibly anticipate. And this can be quite depressing. If you work and work as hard as you can, but nothing seems to go to plan, and it can lead to a crippling sense of self-doubt. Am I good enough? Did I pick the wrong project? Are my results any good? Am I going to fail? And this kind of thinking can make you afraid to even try anything. But the uncertainty, the doubt, is an integral part of research. The uncertainty is the whole point. So rather than investing your entire sense of self-worth in research outcomes that you cannot control, I think it's better to start by embracing the doubt. You don't know if this experiment will work. You don't know if this idea is good. You don't know if these results are sound, and they might not be. But what good academic researchers do is start with the assumption that it might not work. Start with the assumption that they might be wrong. Do whatever it takes to find out and then adapt their idea or adapt their approach and try again. Confidence in research does not come from knowing exactly what will happen or knowing for certain that you're right. It comes from accepting the doubt, accepting the risk, and stepping into the unknown anyway, just to see what happens.